Hey everyone, welcome to the Wild and Uncut podcast brought to you by Ruger. I'm your host, Christy Titus. Thank you for tuning in. The line is going hot, so let's go full send on this episode. A.A. Ron Snyder and Kenzie, we all moved to Wyoming. Thank yes, God we we're like, thank mm, you for joining us. Neighbors. Boom. The move, in obviously the financial burden of the move and then being closed down, getting going again. But now everything's going super smooth. So, right. you know, that's good. Like yeah. if Perfect. we were doing WWE, I'm not tapping out and tapping in, right? right. We're not. I'm You're not like, in that. Just cheering I'm on the side. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You I've got, got I've got your back, but I'm way back. Yeah. yeah. Love so them. I can just yeah. unclip that thing. I'm it not, just unclips right up the top. Can we hook it on me? <laughs> I guarantee you, you walk through any Walmart and you're rocking a fanny pack, everybody in there thinks you have a gun automatically. Which is really? a good thing, really. It's great. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think people realize we are the last ones that are truly a made in America. Made in America Everything. with all American made components. Hi, I'm Christy Titus, and there has never been a more important time in our lives to take protecting our health, our home, and our family more seriously. The firearm that I most often carry concealed is the Ruger LCP-2. It is rated best in class for a lightweight compact pistol, and rightfully so. The LCP-2 is chambered in 380, which is a great choice for personal protection. The big bonus is the new Ruger light rack slide, where the name says it all. The light racking allows for more people to confidently operate and shoot this pistol. All of this adds up to the LCP-2 pistol being extremely easy to operate. So if you wanna learn more about the LCP-2, head over to Ruger.com or visit your local retailer to shop. Hey, you guys, thank you for joining me for this episode of the Wild and Uncut podcast. We are coming at you from Hen Expo with A.A. Ron Snyder and Kenzie. I don't know your last name. Gates. Gates. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a second. Time out here. What do I say? I, uh, I, I just get used to saying buddy when I buddy, don't know buddy. somebody's name. Yeah. Yes. Hey, yeah. buddy. Yeah. I, uh, we, Kinsey and I are staying in the same hotel and <laughs> same Apparently floor. Apparently it's the ghetto. And we're in the ghetto <laughs> and we're both... Uh, Enjoying our luscious hair this morning because for the first time in days we have had hot water yes. and uh, it's been. It's Is it lovely. actually hot now? It's not hot. just lukewarm. Oh no, it's like it's scalding. scalding. Me too. Yeah, it's I love amazing. It. Yeah, yes. I, I don't feel like I belong here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> poor Aaron. Aaron has been on sabbatical from trade shows for what six years now. 2017. Yep, some, yeah, something like that. I went to one in 17. Yep, one show. Yes. And how did you end up getting conned back into being here? There were bets going around if he was coming or not. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the the clothing um, thing that uh, partnership I have with them, and then mm-hmm. Born Primitive. Yeah, yes. With Born mm-hmm. Primitive. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so for those of you that don't know, Aaron <laughs> is now working with Born Primitive Clothing, and they're doing a non camo, uh, high performance apparel line. Come there you go. I there didn't know if go. I could mention all that. So they've kind of made me president of the Born Primitive Outdoor line, and then obviously, um, you know, my crew here handles Kafaru. So a bouncing back and forth. There and then there was other uh, uh, other companies that I work with that wanted uh, to have meet and greets and anyway so um, it's yeah a, this I is figured a I better a come significant improvement from the cardboard cutout that I'm normally in the corner cuddling right so I'm like oh Aaron you know how <laughs> that's not <laughs> actual size <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. It's like you this know big. how many penises have touched that cutout <laughs> that I've got Maybe a photo don't of snuggle with it Christy <laughs> like, I'm not gonna snuggle with it ever again no don't touch never the, cutout. the cutout I have some pretty sick <laughs> twisted friends so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah I'd be like, hey, it's good to meet you. And then there's a wiener touching my hand. I'm like, huh, <laughs> They send good. selfies uh, to Aaron of that, actually. <laughs> Glad I've never seen sure. those selfies. Yeah, no. She it's... sent one. I don't know what she's talking well, about. Yeah, I, Aaron, I, I heard about that, actually. It's getting around the room. <laughs> yeah. um, very popular on your OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to do, like, uh, paid content, Aaron? Like, keep... are you going to do, not OnlyFans, but OnlyFans-ish, where it's, like, exclusive content? Content brought to you from Aaron. I don't, I, I've been asked to do that. Um, it's hard for me to do that. Like I just, it's kind of weird for me to. Do. I'm just, as you know, you've known me as long as anyone. I don't really belong in the position that I'm in. So some of these things are <laughs> you difficult. You would rather for hide me. out in the mountains. Yeah. So like, it's weird for me to be like, hey, pay to see me. It feels. <laughs> it rhymes with Ray. It does not feel right. Yeah, it's really 
really funny. <laughs> it's so funny. I had actually somebody yesterday, well, one of my marketing team, because we're going to do a, a vlog, right? Mm -hmm. Like a lifestyle vlog. Yeah. And my marketing team guy's like, you know, you should do this as like a, as an exclusive content that's paid per view. And I'm like, Yogi's in the background. He wants you to do OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm like, no. Wait, what? No. I mean, uh -huh. you know what I mean? I'm like, no, we're not doing this. We probably this. make some money. Well, the, the reality yeah. is like sex sells. So if you do really goofy shit or you show off your body. Male, feet. Ma ma man feet, oh, feet. Feet. feet are the money maker. Or yeah. cleaning the house. Yeah. I've heard of that. Really? Absolutely. Like vacuuming and just cleaning your house. You should have saw Naked how many people cold. were watching me vacuum Both. yesterday. I'm N telling you, I, I had it out and people were right. No, I'm joking. I'd watch, I'd watch people, people clean naked. Yeah. I, I don't think okay. I'd watch anybody clean with clothes on. Exhibit though. A. Yeah. Exhibit yeah. A. Okay. I didn't say I'd pay for it. I said I'd watch it. Well, then, so then you can't, you don't qualify as a consumer. Then. Right. People yeah. are weird, man. People pay for that. But you think about it as far as that goes, like you have to have amazing content be naked or just do really dumb shit for people that you know some people would pay just to watch you do stupid shit like well that's pretty much the story of my life Aaron. <laughs> i mean let's be honest here i do a lot of real dumb stuff and people watch it i don't i don't yeah there we go mm -hmm. uh so be back on a more serious note right. what are you guys doing with kafara we all moved to wyoming thank yes, god we we're like thank mm, you for joining us neighbors Boom. i thought about moving to the Lander Riverton area, mm -hmm. I looked and we, have so much fun. we we went to Sheridan yeah. instead, which you know it's good. That's where all the um, rich people live. Yeah, well, you can't hide money, and clearly I don't have. <laughs> if you saw my house, you Look would just hat. die. Come on, now. You've I got had money. This, seriously, the hat is like ten years old. Um, but we bought the the oldest house. It's 120 years old. It was the cheapest house that I would agree to live on in Sheridan. So we, we don't have a garage. I mean, we literally had, when we offloaded and moved there, we unloaded a 20 foot shipping container, a tractor, a side-by-side -side and a snowmobile into our backyard. And I'm sure the neighbors were like, what the heck? And then, you know, we have these archery stands made out of old, um, like bow stands made out of old manhole covers and frames. And we had like hanging meat quarters in the backyard all fall. And I'm like, sure the neighbors the were just, they loved it. I uh, think I see pictures, it's adorable. Yeah, well, I'm too, I'm, I'm redneck enough for you guys, but I'm probably too redneck to live in town. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. So gotcha. anyway, so we're we are those people in Sheridan. So I love it. Um, yeah. And but Riverton Landers is pretty nice. And yes. you guys like the move? What's going on with the transition and everything? We like it now that we're done with it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the move sucked. Yeah. You've yeah. had your hands full. Yeah. We all. It's a have lot our to hands move full. a family and companies and yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. It's yeah. Big just to move myself. Right. Well, I mean, just with all the move, and obviously the financial burden of the move, and then being closed down getting going again but now everything's going super smooth so right. you know that's good um i'm yeah. sleeping again um, yeah. more drinking less without without a fifth i i so i remember aaron like pre-drinking aaron right like right. when aaron did not drink alcohol right. at all right and i'm was just dumbfounded yesterday because apparently I don't like pay attention enough to know that you're back on the bottle. <laughs> I, like, what is going on? That sounds like, so awesome. It sounds horrible. Uh, yeah. um, but I'm like, wait a second. You Has drink been for a while alcohol? Now. Like, when did this happen? Because ever since, like, I can remember, you're always like, oh no, Titus, I'm boring, which I am in the same boat. I don't drink a lot. Um, once in a while I will, but I'm not a big drinker, right? No, so. I never remember. I've ne I don't remember you ever being drunk. No. I think. Which we do not need to tell this story. The first time I met you and the altercations that went on there, you might yeah. have had a little, but but um, wait, alter. People are going to think that I punched right, you. Right. No, she <laughs> was, altercation is not good. She was she was <laughs> helping me <laughs> with the altercation you. I was about to get in. Oh uh, yes. She, yeah, you grabbed I've the backpack off my shoulder. I and were did. Like, I good think, luck. Get in well, there, Tiger. You know what? A backpack, <laughs> he tells the story all the people time. People will use the backpack to like suppress you, down. you <laughs> right? right? Like yeah. I have. She was helping you. I was yeah. like helping him have a more fair advantage, <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 she had um, your back. Yeah. Oh, I was laughing. I'm like, I'm not gonna throw a punch for you, but I'll take your backpack. Yeah. yeah she, she walked over, grabbed my pack, and was like, "Here, I'll take this. It looks like things are gonna go to another level." <laughs> yeah, you need a little help right now. Uh -huh. uh, I'm a wingman, but not all in. Like, yeah. if Perfect. we were doing WWE, I'm not tapping out and tapping in. Right? right. We're not. I'm You're not like, in that. Just cheering on the side. Yeah, yeah, like, you I've got, got this. I've got your back, but I'm way back. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. When was that? 2011. I don't. Yeah, I think it was 11. Yeah. It was our. It was my first sheep show, and I think it might. Was it Kafaro's first sheep show too? Probably. I yeah. Think and you it know was. what? I don't even know if I was there. I might have been there with Cryptic. 
Oh yeah, yeah I can't you probably remember. were with Cryptek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I think you were there with Cryptek. That was their <laughs> first sheep show, also. Okay, um, it's really been interesting because, you know, I've grown up backpacking with Kafaru. Um, so I always ran like I was with Cabela's, obviously, and ran Cabela's backpacks. And um, when it was time for me to do my first sheep hunt, and I was going along with a friend as like being mentored because talk about that friend no <laughs> <laughs> let's avoid that <laughs> i was going along as a, with a friend to be mentored and um you know this this person's like hey i love you but you really suck at a few things in life you don't know how to backpack hunt because you've had horses and mules your whole life and you can't shoot yourself out of a weight wet paper bag um i learned how to shoot um, and I learned how to backpack hunt, and and I spent a lot of time in REI and in you know whatever Cabela's and whatever store I could find gear in, and reading a ton. And Aaron, um, we reached out to Aaron, and I was like, dude, I need a bag that I can run for. We did a 13 day sheep hunt, and we did not come off the mountain for 13 days. It was it was the probably the longest duration backpack hunt to date that I've ever done. And Aaron. Was that long hauler or long? Well, it was kind of custom long, long hunter, hunter. Long yeah. something. I don't yeah, even long know. something. Long something. But it was a, it was a you, you hooked me with a bag and, and it fit and I you know I'd never done a backpack hunt mm-hmm. and you know he made sure the frame was right the waist belt was perfect and that I had enough load lifter strap and you know everything was solid and I remember. I stepped off of the um, the float plane, and mind you, back then I was like 20 pounds lighter than I am now, and I was in super stellar shape. And I started hiking up this hill, and I I felt like a horse the first time they're like saddled, and they're like, "What the <laughs> f is on me?" And get this, like if I could, like if I was a horse, I'd been bucking. Yeah. Like get this off me. It was not normal, and my my brain, even though I was in phenomenal shape, my brain was just having a hard time wrapping itself around how much weight I was carrying mm. and how steep it was. And it just felt so unnatural to me. Um, but after the first, I don't know, I'd say hour, you kind of get used to mm-hmm. that. And then I was like, okay, I got this and, and stuck it out for 13 days. And um, it was a great learning experience. And, you know, I had no problems with my pack, no no soreness, no pain. Like, everything was solid. And, you know, I, and I've been running Kafaro packs ever since. Like, it's a long, long-seated history and story with that. I know you're, you're my, um, how, how small of a person can we fit? And I'm, you're my, well, Christy's a midget. We Once upon one a time, yeah. I was real, real small. <laughs> like, yeah. tiny, tiny. Like, you know, take 20 pounds off me. And I was, like... Oh, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your vertically challenged. Well, that short too, yeah. 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 But it was the whole combination. You know, I was tiny, tiny in the waist, and I was super short, short torso. And how do I get a bag that I can run for 13 days? And I was packing 60 pounds with water. Oh, you look like a Ninja Turtle. I did. It was green. (laughs) It was a green bag. It was was green. Oh, we got the OD green? It was green. Yeah, Yeah. and I did look like a turtle. like Donatello. Yeah. Or which, yeah. which I think one? I remember. Did yeah. you come into the office? Raphael. For that? No, 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 no. This was this was in twenty uh, twelve. Twelve, yeah. Twenty twelve. Yeah, we did it yeah, all over. This the was long, phone. long gotcha. ago. Once yeah. upon a once upon a time. Um so that's where we got introduced and then I started doing my T V show and I approached Aaron and I was like, Hey, I wanna keep running your bags on my show. What do you think? And he's like, Yeah, I'll give you a couple. <laughs> Yeah, and we're still we're still doing it. Yeah, yeah. still doing it. We're still doing it. Yeah, all these years later. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. I didn't. That's over a decade. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. I know we're old. Hey, you guys. If you're like me, you are totally dependent on OnX Hunt for nearly everything from hunting, navigating backcountry roads, even real estate. But being an elite member with OnX has so many benefits that you guys are going to want to take advantage of if you're not already doing so. For example, you're going to have access to all 50 states plus Canada with tons of valuable resource, landowner information, and you're also going to get added benefits like draw odds with Top Ret that will help you with all of your application seasons and 
benefits through Hunting Fool Magazine. And to boot, you guys, they've got tons of great specials through partners like Silencer Central, where if you're an OnX Elite member, you really benefit from those partnerships. So if you guys aren't a member, I encourage you go online to the OnX Hunt website, use code WILD20 at checkout, and you're gonna save 20%. You're gonna love being an OnX Hunt Elite member. Shut the door. You know, how old are you now? I'll be 43 this year. Now I've got you by a few. Yeah, I'll be 43. What about Yogi? How old's Yogi? 40, wonderful. You're dating a younger man? I'm married. I'm yeah. married. Oh, yeah, yeah married. you know what I meant. I, I knew that. We're both married. Yeah. It's and I'm so not weird. <laughs> yeah, I know, you were married when I met you. Now you're not married. <laughs> and we were both single when we met. And now we're both married. I know. Um, oh, wait, was that two years ago that you guys got married? Yeah, we've been married two years yeah. now. I remember. I saw. I wasn't invited. But nobody was invited. No, my, Our parents weren't even at our wedding. That's what I was trying to say. Nobody was invited. No. It was, it was a FaceTime. <laughs> we did a FaceTime call with our families, and then uh -huh. um, that was it. That's yeah, cute. No, yeah, that's no cool. No wedding. Though. Well, we're talking about doing a wedding this year, but that's a whole other whatever story. Um, uh, you should do that. Yeah. I want to dance. Yeah. yeah. Let's do well, it. Well, it's in Sweden, so you have to get oh. a... Plane um, ticket and fly. I'm gonna need some time off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, boss. She's gonna come to Sweden. Um, uh, that's great. So you guys have evolved a lot from then, I, and and you went from just having like the specialty in extended stay backpacks to I would call an EDC everyday carry backpacks. You guys have you know um, so much has changed. Quivers mm -hmm. and you know for our, well I just live in the Rogan fanny pack. I mean right like it, I get made fun of all the time. People are like, what kind of gun you got in there? And I'm like. Wouldn't God. you want to know? <laughs> Don't you want to know what's in this fan? Because I guarantee you, you walk through any Walmart and you're rocking a fanny pack, everybody in there thinks you have a gun automatically. Which is really? a good thing, really. It's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. especially, like, if you see especially a dude cars, in yeah. shorts and he's got fanny pack, bro has a gun. I have to say, that not is to a look. change it's the true. subject, but that dude in that booth has an amazing jawline. Where? He spent a lot of time. He, have you yes. seen that, Yogi? He is chiseled. You're not paying attention. No. Look no. at that jawline and that. Oh. How much time do you think you put into that beard for oh. f fuck's sake? Probably more than fancy. both of our hair combined. I know. Yeah. That's a lot of effort. It is a lot. Of anyway, what do you he's think? Got good triceps. Yeah. I mean, those are hard to get def definition like that. I, he's flexing them. Mm -hmm. he, he's flexing he it is. a little bit. He's Absolutely. like in the pocket Absolutely. and then doing a little tri flex. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just. Um, uh, that's a lot of. That's a lot of beard oil, in that thing. Look at it. I, I don't know. I can't judge. There's not a lot on me that's real. So <laughs> I can't really say <laughs> anything. I'm like, well, I've spent some money here and there. So, it happens. Uh, you know, it's like, it's okay, I was, you know, I'm not, I'm not judging. I, you said the, the pink thing was trending. Let's, let's hear about your pink hair. Well, this is thanks to Riza. Yeah. Okay. We were at Hunter Christmas. Sorry oh, in Vegas. Down. Yeah. Yes. And she came to my booth with a pink hair extension and feathers and I was like oh damn that's so cool like, and Ashley that. her and Ashley yes and Yogi's like oh damn no you're not getting that you're not 13 <laughs> and, and here it is I, my hair extension it's an I'm extension to the extensions okay and right. so I went and got them and they're the guys that I had to get one for my sister for Christmas and I got my own um my daughters love so them. I can just yeah. unclip that thing I'm it not, just unclips right you up the hook top. It, can we hook it on me yeah. Oh my gosh. Wait, where do we put it. it? Wait, do it. Well, hold on. Let me see if I, I can have take a lot it out. of hair. Wait, where? Can you see it in my hair here. amongst the hair extensions? Yeah. Don't don't the other. Nope. Some of them are glued into my head, so you can't take those ones out. Okay. Yeah. You just okay. lift oh, it straight oh, up. It's a comb. It's a comb. Oh. Yeah, oh, that? this is stunning. Okay. Isn't that nice? So here. here. There you go. That's <laughs> <laughs> is that, that trending? That is amazing. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get somebody get a selfie of this. <laughs> Love it. Yes. We got Aaron all decked out we here. We need a hashtag trending. With, with my, but it is, um, I so think it's beautiful. Just, it's like a little Western trend. And, yeah. And um, all the little girls, when they see me, they're like, oh my gosh, I love your hair. Oh, my daughters would love they that. They just freak over it. And I, you know what? Are I they just, here? I did not know that this did that, the oh. snapping thing. You can buy them on Amazon. All different colors, curled, straight, crimped. Aaron's out again. Oh, I'm I have blazing a, over. I have okay, but you know what? I'm really impressed today, though, Aaron. I have to compliment you. Not only do you look good with my fake hair on, um, 
You're like making eye contact. I'm trying. We have made <laughs> yeah. a He's lot evolving. of progress from yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, I'm literally. Let me, let me let me talk about eye contact. I have really an issue as an introvert with close talkers, right? <laughs> like, and uh, Mark with Crispy on the way over grabbed me, and that dude, him and Robbie Denning, are two close talkers to a point. I am internally at my soul <laughs> feeling icky, right? Like. They're and I'm close. like, immediately, I'm like, do I have a booger? <laughs> do I have bad <laughs> breath? Going on? And I don't want to be that guy that backs away, but I feel like being like, bro, like, I need, I need four feet. So I, six inches. I backed up. Wink, wink, sorry, Kenzie. <laughs> Mark's awesome, but I back up a foot, and he closed a foot. Like, backed up a foot. And so he kept backing up with you? No, he kept walking forward yeah, as I was, I was backing like, up. He, was, he kept, was like, yeah. he's like kept calling the distance. Yeah, kept, yeah. so the same, same game. I was struggling greatly with that and trying to look him in the eye when we talk. Because I literally, like as I'm talking to you now and you see on camera, when I talk to people a lot, because I'm an introvert, I'm doing this and talking. And I'm like, yeah, man, that's cool. Really. And then every now and then I'll glance over. Mm-hmm. And yesterday you were like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, he is like staring like we're not even like having the same conversation he's like like, staring into the horizon (laughs) like if the sun were setting he's watching the sunset as i'm over here in his peripheral vision like yep 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 i'm like a chihuahua (laughs) in his peripheral (laughs) that's just like (laughs) and he's like tuning out like give me safety get me out of here i see the horizon somebody over there has a life preserver they're gonna throw it at me and i'm gonna swim away right like that's and i'm looking at aaron and i'm like hey literally i (laughs) grab him like look at my eyes look into my eyes i can see when he like glazes over it's like we've lost it we he's gone, he's gone. well yeah. and i mean that's the thing like with me not going like i've known you longer than anyone and i have trouble looking you in the eyes yeah. so imagine is when it's a complete stranger i'm like i make everybody <laughs> uncomfortable though so don't feel bad about that um, i mean i i have that approach on the world um <laughs> but it's just because i'm weird and i think people are like wow this lady is really weird and i can't look at her too long but you do <laughs> great we have great eye I, contact i, I, I know, love it it could be like, the pink hair you might yeah, throw well off. i gotta put it back in now that hair. i yeah. took it out i have to no she's saying do. making people feel weird it's the, oh, it's the oh, pink hair yeah, yeah. well whatever Mm -hmm. you know okay so like with everything in this industry like you're a guy that you live on the edge you kind of do your own thing and you you stand out in your own way because you just do you Mm -hmm. and I kind of do the same thing in a different manner right Mm -hmm. like I just you you got to just roll with how you are and like you I'm slightly introverted I feel like I come to these shows and I expend a ton of energy because I am very outgoing being out yeah when I go home I'm a shut-in. My husband does a grocery shopping. I won't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. I'm like, we don't go to dinner. We don't have friends. Who does the cooking? I do, and he usually does dishes. Yeah. I do not do either. <laughs> no? Actually. Is that not true? You're shaking well, your head over there. shaking your head? No. Yogi thinks I'm lying. He also cooks, but majority is me. Oh. It's true. I do. I don't. I think <laughs> off off air, that would be a total, different, totally different conversation. I, I can tell you for a fact <laughs> I do no cooking or dishes. And Amy, it was, it's almost like if I called her a whore if I try and cook, it's like an insult. Oh, and she so, she's like Italian. It. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She, wants to, she wants to feed her Absol- man. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, so. I want her to feed me. I want her to yeah. feed me, too. Where's my invite? <laughs> I know. Yeah, I was, I was talking to Caudillo pasta, yesterday. Says. We have to no, come up I with, like, a family to. reunion where we all come camp Gang at your house. And yeah, yeah, I would really like to do that. I'm really good with boiled eggs and cheese sandwiches. If I'm cooking, really like cheese and mayo, no, no mayo. Oh, just um, cheese and bread. So when I f- when I first met Amy, all I had was peanut butter and eggs um, and uh, oatmeal on the in the in the house because oh. that's when I was really divorced. Big. Yeah, yeah, and divorced. <laughs> yeah. You just yeah. I don't through a divorce, yeah. and you're yeah. like I'm starving to death over here. Yeah. Uh, no, no, this was far and before I think, that. I yeah. think you called mm-hmm. Amy just because you're like the one person that can save my life. <laughs> or I, deal, this is and this deal woman. with my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, shit, Before I funny. starve to death over here on my bachelor couch, <laughs> I'm going to call Amy. <laughs> the mattress <laughs> on the floor. Yeah. That's funny. I was just looking at photos of me from 2018. Oh, yeah, your office. Eight, 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 no, no, not long, long, that long ago, but like 2018. I've put on quite a bit of weight. Not fat, but, you know, but like. Yeah, yeah, you're thicker in the chest. Yeah, 2018, yeah. I would look like I was anorexic. It wasn't yeah. good. You've gotten a lot He's bigger. He's going to the gym in town. Yep, I you am. You go to Iron a gym in town? Iron yep. You go Iron to works. a public gym. Yep. But There's nobody in there. But he has a gym oh. in his garage also. Yeah. Well, I work out at home too, but yeah, I go to both when yeah, I need yeah. heavier weight. Yeah. Trying okay. to bulk back up. 
Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm on my bulking phase too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I need you know what I need to do? I used to be really good about discipline and I'm gotten horrible with discipline. Like mostly it's not so much the workouts, you know why? it is both. It's also food though. Well, you know what it is? What? You married a super cool guy. You don't have to try as hard now. You is won. that what it is? Yeah, that's oh, 100% what that. it is. Yeah. Oh, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying he's cool as shit. He is he fun. Is, yeah. He's So awesome. it's like what I had at times I've done videos on my social where I'm wearing horrible flip flops with socks to here, super baggy shorts with white legs doing a shooting video. Yeah. Would I do that if I was trying to get laid? <laughs> I mean, you probably probably would. not. <laughs> yeah, maybe that would. <laughs> probably. You never know what crowd <laughs> that would, that would the bad ones out. Yeah, Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This one yeah. really does like me yeah. because yeah. she just saw that. Well, so. my poor husband. We we did a, a hunt this year. It was eleven days, no shower in a two man tent. Yeah. That was that. Love. That is That's love. love. <laughs> that is a hundred percent. You can't do that with just anyone. Love. I had a weird rash on my thigh on the oh. inside, and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Like sweat and chafing and all of it and lack of just shower. A, I'm like do you have a rash anywhere and he's like yes I do have a rash and we both smelled so bad with our gross <laughs> rotten rashes and I mean that's how you know so romantic. right you can make it you can make it through yeah. anything I, I gotta be honest I don't I don't think I would I would not uh, I would not I wouldn't attempt that shit with anyone any female I, oh. I couldn't do it no. I d- you could. We did it. You could. We could do it. I feel no. like this is a challenge now I know. that we have to do. Let's this. all go. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. I'll just yeah. take full responsibility of this. I, there's no fucking way I would even try that. <laughs> really? Why? Eleven days. He's like in the field. Hard no. Yeah. No. I just. Don't, I don't think it'd be worth it. No shower. I don't do you know. For shower? me. Me. I don't give a shit. I'll stay three weeks without showering. I'm talking about. Oh. Mm. No, me. Oh, 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 I do. Oh, oh, oh. I do. I do right, two right. week backpack trips yeah. I'm every she year. I'm picking you. Up. Yeah, I'm yeah. Pick, I was saying, it up. She no. likes to shower. Eleven days for me is like going to the grocery store. No, yeah, I'm saying she yeah. would have a fucking heart attack. If I we could tried go a while that. without showering. Yeah. Yeah. The well, longest so I've th- done is fifteen days. You were on right. horse. Well, horseback? we was that the no, rush? we were hiking the whole time. But my um, my dad's buddy had his mules, and so he packed our camp in. Um, with the mules and then we we were just day hiking and then it was like I, at the end of the 11 days I was pretty toast and really glad that I had a mule come in and pick up my deer and pack it out because I'm just, was, yeah I'm yeah, just was, saying yeah 11 days with you ever see those uh, like the adventure races where they bring your spouse yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah no fucking man with any common sense maybe one out of a million would say man if I do something like this I'm bringing my wife instead <laughs> of my best friend because you know the drama that's gonna happen so yeah yeah, uh, we didn't have any drama though. Right. No, I'm mean, like none. You guys might be the one in a million. I'm just yeah. saying, like zero. <laughs> yeah, well, we literally went home and. How long like, have you guys been together? Three years. Yeah, that, yeah. I was gonna say that you can't chalk that up to the newness. No, nope, the newness was over yeah. at that yeah. point. Yeah, no, we went home and literally packed up my mules, and headed out on the next hunt. Like turned around the next day. Well, we you guys hunt together all the time. But we hunt it. Yeah, we do all the time. Yeah, yeah. it's good. It's just what you guys do. Yeah, and we get, you know, we're fortunate. We get along good. But I think most of that's because Yogi's a nicer person than me. And I'll 100% (laughs) give my husband that because I am, I am a very, um, Strong willed woman. No, so he's, just, he's way. more go with the flow and he lets you just you flow. do you. Yeah. So well, that's the, I mean, that's the key. He and w- the cool thing about my husband is he's gonna get jealous mm. because I have all these weird relationships with my guy friends that right. are wildly inappropriate. I mean, really, most of the time inappropriate. And I, my husband's great. You know, he's he gets that it's humorous, right? right. Like it's not. It's, he, he knows you're going home to him. Yeah, he doesn't Absolutely. take it seriously, you know, when I, like, I walked up to Ty Stubblefield the other day and I put my finger right in his butt crack outside of his pants <laughs> when he was walking. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, da, da, da. clarification. And Ty's like, whoa. And I, and I mean, but he's like a brother from another mother right. to me. I love him. I love his wife. I love his family. We have a great relationship. And Jeannie's not jealous or weird. And, and my husband's not. And so it's like, we can all be friends and we don't have to like filter yeah. Around our spouse, which is nice yeah. because I think that's unhealthy and dysfunctional. Right. You know. Yeah. I have to, thinking about this over the course of time, you and I have known each other. I couldn't. If Aaron I uh, couldn't even talk to me before. Like if we were talking in public and somebody found out about it. 
Yeah. We, I mean, it was like repercussions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And then uh, that was my girlfriend. Right. And then I broke up with her. We weren't allowed to be friends on social media. Yeah. And then I broke up with her and I ended up married somehow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's great. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's good. So, yeah, I found a good husband that puts up with me and my weirdness. And, yeah. and you know, he's so easygoing. You know, when he knows if I'm getting hangry. He's like, oh, here, gremlin. <laughs> have eat <a> the food. <laughs> and he's like, you've waited too long. This is ridiculous. You have to eat more frequently. Oh. Like, he, See, that's the key. He, like, does this meltdown prevention all the time. It. Exactly. Just deliver yeah. it. And that's how our marriage survives in the backcountry. Oh, food that's and wine. Good. That's well, cool. I'm gonna go with wine, you guys. He's a he. He drinks the wine. Ooh. He brings the wine. I'm not. I would bring the wine. Yeah, he has to be drunk to hang out with me. That's fine. Yeah, it's the best relaxing yeah. drunk. The best. So, are you, are you gonna go on a, a on a hunt for eleven days? Me? Yeah, absolutely, I am. I need you to report back after that. <laughs> you don't have any faith in me, huh? I'm not. S- there's a. I'm just saying. We all are Wyoming. We there, can get there general taxes. There are some things I need to learn, but I am there. I'm doing it. All yeah. right. I'm gonna prove you wrong. I can give you no, some I'm tricks not, that I've learned along the uh, way. Okay. I'm not saying you yeah, won't. Yeah, we're gonna talk. I'm yeah. not saying yeah. you won't make it. I'm just saying I think it'll be a big eye opener for you. Oh, I'm. Yeah, you're. Yeah, I'm not naive. You I know it's. It. You're I good. know it's gonna do. You're yeah. good. Yeah. No oh worries. really? How many women have done 11 day hunt? You know of. Well, I don't go interview. People like oh, so I didn't need. This, a, this is like I, a, I didn't ask a, for a story. Like a, a how many? Contest. How like, many? Well, how many days have you been? Out well, no, I'm not trying to pump your own tires up. How many women do you know have done an 11 day hunt? I don't know. I have never. I've literally Jordan Bud. Okay, one. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, I could do anything. Julie Chapman, maybe. Uh, you? How many know. do you know? How many women have done an 11 day backpack hunt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rachel in New Zealand. Yeah, she's tough. So I can think yeah. of four. Cassidy Karen. I don't know Karen. her. Yeah, no. she, well, she's an outfitter in BC. She's, yeah. she's, yeah. 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 Yeah, so I'm just putting things into perspective. You might want to start off with a four day. Or a <laughs> four, four days. Day. <laughs> we'll start with four. A long four. weekend, Christy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll start with four. I know hey, my camera And you're bringing wine. Uh, okay. Yeah. He yeah. got lucky. He got out on, like, day five, so he didn't okay. have to endure... The replication, replicate, repercussions of the odor that was gotcha. there present. It does come quick though. Four days, you'll still get to enjoy that. Right. Yeah. Part of it. <laughs> but but especially if, if everybody's it's stinky, outside, then aren't right. you just You're all good. in your own yeah. funk and it's the, fine? The yeah. only reason why I brought up the eleven day thing is sometimes that can take so much fun out of it. It may not. You may not want to do it I'll ever never again. It. It'll yeah. ruin it. That you might yeah. want to just do, f- and because I know, I'm sure you can Maybe make steps. it. It's more like. You might want to try to have fun the first one, because like, 11 days isn't that much Well, the fun. last day, when we were hiking <laughs> out, my feet, because we were averaging six miles a day, and one day we did, what, 14 or 15? My feet hurt so bad when we were walking out. I, I literally told my husband, I was like, thank God Robbie is here with his mules, because if we had to do two or three trips out with this deer, I, I would have been, it would have taken it to uncomfortable to like a tear level yeah like yeah. super horrible miserable and right. like not cool yeah. right so and there is a little bit of that i think i try to prevent getting to that level right that's fine um, and then yogi turned around and i rode mules into um our next hunt and he had to walk <laughs> <You're> <laughs> i'm laughing. so sorry <laughs> that face. I did buy a couple more trying to raise him up to where yeah. he can eventually also ride. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, husband. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, I'm a slacker. But, you know, it's this a lot of the same stuff. Like when we're when we're going in on the mules, we're using the same backcountry gear as we are when we're backpacking because I'm trying to be as ultra light as we can with them. Because if we, like this last year, we both had deer tags. So it's like not only do we have to get on two pack mules, myself, Yogi, and my cameraman's gear, we also have to get out two deer or a two deer and an elk. Like we weren't sure how the hunt was going to turn out. Right. And so <clears throat> even when we go in on the mules anymore, like we're still trying to do the ultralight, you know, back. Holy shit. Oh boy. Oh Ryan my God. Avery. <laughs> <laughs> we're on. <laughs> We're on. It's hey. so on. Hey, go meet my wife. Yeah. Go say hi to my wife. Yeah. We. 
That was Ryan and Tanya Avery. <laughs> yes, I love them. They're amazing um, people. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, and there's two. Uh, um, one of their contributors, Travis Beckstrand, yesterday brought his kid by my booth, and he's making. He, yeah. He, Santa got him a 3D yes. printer. Did it's you amazing. buy the tack table? No, but we have a little stand over there. He's yeah. amazing. That I, family is amazing. I bought the tack table, and then we podcasted for the those kids, are my adopted so. children. They're really amazing Peyton people. Has my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Great people. Great yeah. people at Rockside. Anyway, yes. so we're gonna keep moving forward on this because Aaron is glazing on yep. his eyes. And I feel his breathing changing. I'm about to um, pull a hamstring. <laughs> yeah. So, um, everybody, you guys, you're in Wyoming. You're still building backpacks. You're now doing shelters, uh, accessory bags. You know, the thing that makes Kafaro cool, I think, that we should just put out there is you guys build packs and frames for pretty much every application and pretty much any body style. Mm-hmm. Um, so we can we can work it around. Waist belts. Yep. And Funky back, funky links, hips. We funky can anything. We'll, we'll figure it out with to a get phone you call. There. Is there a customer service people can call and be like, "Hey, I need help," and you send measurements too? Because that's the way Aaron and so I. Oh, absolutely. Respond. We have three full-time customer service reps, and then it could go after that, depending upon your question, to me or Kenneth or Daniel or Anders or you know Eric. if it's more Eric, more yeah. more in-depth question. And then the other thing too, like the. I don't think people realize we are the last ones that are truly a made in America, made in America Everything. with all American made components. And before some chucklehead comments, our T-shirts are not made in the USA. <laughs> our, our T-shirts are made overseas. But all the backpacks and our puffy yes. jackets and sleeping bags, all that stuff's made in you the USA. You guys States. really missed the mark on the Lost Park Parka <clears throat> when you called it the Lost Park Parka. It should have been the SBC which is the sleeping bag coat. Yeah. And and that's what we call it. It'll the keep you alive. Bag coat. My <laughs> entire family has the Lost Park Parka. Right. My mom, my dad, my nephew, my brother-in-law, my sister, my husband, me. Like, it's a go-to, especially when you live in Wyoming in the oh, winter. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah. Right. So, and the sleeping bag pants also saved my life. Elk season this year because I had to sit on a bowl for... I don't even know how many hours. I really would I like to see you in those pants and that yes. puffy in cold weather. Um, that would be. <laughs> I, I, I love I, you to I death. Love, like, and the I, man. I, I oh, just, absolutely. I was going to say, no yeah. offense, you you are hot normally. You would look like a fucking Oompa Loompa. Those yeah, yeah, that Michelin Man, actually. Pants. Remember that <laughs> on a Michelin Christmas Man. Story where yeah. Randy falls down and Randy lay there like a slug. It was his only defense. That had to be you with all that. That's pretty much me. On. I can't move. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like. <laughs> yeah. But you were warm, right? right? I'm warm. Warm and cozy. I'm yeah. warm and cozy, and I I could care less, yes, right? Exactly. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We really the the reality is when you have all of that on. Yeah, you you just don't give a shit about yeah. anything. You just don't want to die. <laughs> you just want to be warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I've had people ask me like, "Hey, how do these look?" And I'm like, "Not horrible. good. Not really. Um, something yeah. I ever thought about. Because when that. those things are on, I'm just hoping I don't freeze my wiener off. Because it's freezing cold mm-hmm. when I have those on. Yeah, but see, I'm a cold person. I am freezing like all cold-hearted the time. or like, like well, cold-blooded. Both. Um, but I I'll sleep mm-hmm. really cold. So I mean, like I was caribou hunting a couple years ago, and I had a minus twenty bag. In my sleeping bag, jacket, and pants on, and because I was cold. But also, for, for the record, my um, I listened to Jordan Bud's podcast on sleeping systems, and I bought some new fandangled sleeping pad that was supposed to have a super high R, R value, value, and the flipping thing popped the first night. Oh. So I'm sleeping on the ground on pine boughs, and I was righteously cold. And I think I would have how, wanted to die if it weren't for that. How were you uh, to deal with uh, every day? As long as I'm fed. I mean, with not sleeping, because that will knock the shit um, out of most I don't, people. Yogi, am I, am I, am I a miserable, Yogi, <laughs> am I a miserable person if I'm not, if I'm tired? Yes, tired, <laughs> yeah. cold, tired, cold, and hungry, the three yeah, things. I yeah. figure yeah. it I mean, isn't that every woman? <laughs> oh, that's bad. Yogi just said, God forbid, all that's three like the, happen at once. That's, like, that's, that's, that's like the Hydra, like yeah. all three yeah. heads uh, at once. Can't but I do, it. I'm a sleeper. I like my sleep. Um, and so, yeah, I need rest. And I can pretty much sleep through anything. So that's one good thing. Did you sleep through the uh, smoke alarms the other night? No, that was awake already, or still, yeah. I should say. Yeah. But I slept through a hurricane one time. So wow. I can I sleep through I anything. Sleep like that. I, I can't sleep. sleep. Yeah. On that note, whew, look at the time. You got to go. <laughs> no, right. I don't, but I'm done talking to you two. <laughs> All, All right. right. Cool. We are Dang. done with this episode of the Wild Nut <laughs> Cup podcast per Aaron, and uh, we are lucky to have him tuned in this long. I appreciate you guys <laughs> sitting down and doing yes, this with me. Thank you. you guys go online, check out Kafaro Backpacks, Sleeping Shelters, uh, Everyday Carry. 
backpacks, everything, um, kafaro.net. Yep. Yep. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks. Thanks. A buck's antler growth potential is tied directly to his nutritional intake. The quicker they recover from the stress of the rut and the harsh elements found in winter months, the sooner they can begin new antler development. Supplemental nutrition, like the Rack One system, promotes healthy deer herds and jumpstarts new antler growth. Rack One's grow phase is specifically designed to provide everything that deer need to recover and reach their genetic potential. Accelerator is the apex when it comes to optimizing whitetail mineral intake. And big game butters fuel deer with 22% protein and 44% fat to boost antler growth and supercharge recovery. To learn more about the grow, scout, or hunt systems from Rack One, visit the website at huntrack1.com. Thank you for listening to the Wild and Uncut podcast. If you would like to hear more, be sure to subscribe to my Pursue the Wild digital series on YouTube and follow me at Christy Titus on Facebook and Instagram.